everyone from Andre's Gymnastics. We hope you all are staying safe and well during this time and we miss you all so much. We thought that we might put together some videos for you so that you can um, follow along and stay active during this time. Um, so let's get stuck into it. Yes, we've got Coach Maddie here. Hi. So we're going to be starting with our kinder gym and mini movers. So two to five year olds. We need to make sure that we have a parent with us and always helping and doing the things that we are safe and capable of doing. All right. So you're going to make sure you have lots of space and <laughs> and we're going to start with a game. We're going to look around at the different colors that are around the area and you're going to touch three red things with your nose. Off you go. And then come back to the middle as quickly as you can. Good job. All right, now we're going to touch four white things with your pinky finger. Off you go. There's not much white around here. Awesome, good job guys. Now we're going to touch five blue things with your bottom. Off you go. <laughs> Two, four. Nice and quick. <laughs> and five and come back down. Good work guys. Okay guys, so go have a quick drink of water and then we'll start with our warm up and stretches. Okay, we're gonna start with running on the spot, nice and fast. Faster, faster, faster. And everyone freeze on your motorbike. And run again, run, 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 run. And freeze. And one more, run, run, run. The dinosaur chasing you, quick, 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 quick. And freeze. Cool, now we're gonna start with our jumping. So rocket jumps, arms up, bouncing. Tight body and bouncing side to side. And bouncing in a circle. Other way. And freeze. Good. Start with your star jumps now. So legs going out and in. As wide as you can. Good work. Alright, let's see if we can make it harder. So we're going to have our feet together and do the star in the air. And feet together when you finish. Good. Try a few more. Whoa, big ones. Alright, now you're going to try your tuck jump. So bring your knees up and touch. Good motorbike. And again. And make sure you slap your knees really hard. Good job. Awesome. Let's try and hop on one foot. Might need mum or dad's help to hop on one foot. And hop on the other foot. And see if you can hop in a circle. So bounce around. Good job. All right, let's try and be a bunny doing a hop. So hands down. And a little bunny hop. Good job. Try again. Little bunny hop. Cool, so we want to make sure that our fingers are flat on the ground, not going up on our thumbs. And when you land, you want to be as soft as you can, so don't punch a hole through the ground. You want to try and land really quietly. Nice work. See if you can bunny hop in a little circle if you've got enough space. Good job, everyone. Awesome. All right, let's try and be an angry cat now. So putting your hands and knees down on the ground. And pushing your back up really, really strong. And then relax and do a happy cat. So arching, keep your arms straight, feet together. And angry cat again. Really strong arms. Our angry cat's really strong for our handstand. And happy. And now disco cat, wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Good job. <laughs> awesome. All right, see if you can go into a front support. So go up on your toes, hands. Good job. So making sure that you're straight arms and flat. Cool. All right, let's do some stretches. So sitting down in your straddle, legs out wide, point your toes, reaching up to the roof and stretch to one side. And count to five. Make sure your toes are pointed. And reach up and other side. Count to five. Point your toes and up. And now down the middle and count backwards from five. Four, three, two, three. One, and reaching up now, pike, feet together. So L sit and reach down to pike. So keeping your knees nice and straight. And reaching up again. And reach down to your toes, pike. 
Good work. And sitting in your butterfly. So legs out and gently flapping your wings. And pushing your legs down. And try and touch your nose to your toes. Keep pushing those knees down strong. Just go as far as you can. Good work, guys. And sitting up, give your legs a shake. Give your arms a shake. Wriggle, wriggle, wriggle. Awesome. Ready to move on to our next part. Good work. Okay guys, so now we're going to go into our handstand training. So we're going to start with some front supports on the ground. So hands down and making sure you're keeping your back really strong like an angry cat. And then you're going to turn one hand and we're going to roll over into our rear support. So you've got to keep your bottom off the ground to make sure your fingers are pointing towards your toes and holding your belly up high to the roof. And then we're going to turn back again. So turn and push. Keep that angry cat shape. And if you need to have a little rest, you can shake your hands. So come down, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> and we're going to try again. So front support. And turn your hand. And roll over. Rear support. Belly up to the roof. Make sure your fingers are pointing towards your toes. And turn your hand. And roll back over. Strong front support. And relax. Shake your hands. Awesome. All right, we're going to try our crab shape now. So pushing up. Bottom off the ground, making sure your fingers are pointing towards your toes, belly up to the roof. And we're going to see if you can walk forwards. And see if you can walk backwards. Awesome. See if you can go around in a little circle. Keep that bottom up high. And now see if you can lift one foot off the ground without falling over. And other foot. Ooh, tricky. And try one foot, one hand. Who can give that a go? And not falling over. <laughs> try one more. Awesome work. All right, coming down. Give your hands a little shake. Cool. Now we're going to go onto the couch. So we've got a box here for our couch. Just got to ask mum or dad if it's okay if we can use their couch. But we're not going to be doing anything too hectic on it. All right, so you're going to put your hands down, your feet up on the couch. And keep it nice and strong. You're going to hold this shape, holding it. Push your belly up strong. And see if you can walk your hands in closer so your bottom goes up really high. Strong arms, straight arms. And walk back out. Strong and relax. Give your hands a little shake. Awesome. So to make this easier, you can also try and do one on your knees. So putting your hands down, put your knees up on the couch. Walk your hands in nice and close. Holding it really strong. Keep your feet off the ground. And walk back out. Holding it strong. And coming down. Give your hands a shake. And to make it harder, we can try and lift one foot off. So you're going to go up. Strong shape first. Walk your feet in. Hands in, I mean. And then you're going to lift one foot up. But don't lift it too high. Just up. And then you can swap your feet over after holding it for a little bit. And putting it down and coming down. Give your hands a shake. Awesome. All right, our last, oh, last couple, we've got um, handstand on the wall. So we're just going to make sure that it's okay to use a wall. If it's not, that's fine. You can do some more of those ones on the couch. You're going to put your hands down and you're going to walk up into it. Do not kick into the wall. Walk up into it, holding it really strong and counting to 10 seconds. And once you're done, you can walk your feet down. If you can't make it to 10, that's okay. Give your hands a shake. And you're going to try one more. So walk your feet up. And to make it harder, you can try and march on your hands. So do little, little lifts with your hands 10 times or 5 times, whatever you can do to help us with our handstand walks. And coming down, give your hands a shake. Awesome. And then our last one, we're going to do dog with a broken leg. So we're going to find some space and starting up. And <laughs> yeah, and then moving forward with one foot always near the ground. And I'll get Maddie to do it again on the way back. So arms up and stepping, one foot kicking up and down. So one foot always stays close to the ground. Good job. And you can go grab a quick drink. Alrighty guys, we're just going to work on a little cool down now. So we're going to open our hands out. And close into a little ball and open and close and one more open and close and now you're going to make a little ball with your both your hands and roll around and do a wave with your hands and we're going to go under the water hold your breath 
and down and see if you saw anything under the water. Try again, see if you see a turtle or an octopus or a shark and down and give your hands a shake. Awesome. And now we're going to stretch our arms. So open the gate and let all the dinosaurs in. Close the gate and lock it. So making sure you're pulling your arm across to stretch it. And other arm, open the gate, let all the sharks in, close it and lock it. And give your arms a shake. See if you can do a shark fin behind your back. So turn around and putting your fingers together <laughs> and holding your hands close. And give your arms a shake. Give your legs a shake, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And we are done. I hope you enjoyed your workout today, guys. Good work. Yeah. <laughs>